what's up everybody welcome back to the cave i know it's been a while since the last update but there's been a lot going on in the tank just been busy with a lot of things um as well as getting ready to fight my first battles here two things going on in the tank we got a bacterial bloom and a diatom bloom now i went through a little bit of a diatom bloom you know during the cycle but there was a frag swap here in chicago and you know, I ended up buying uh, a few things and, you know, finally getting some fish in. And I think I kind of started another mini cycle uh, by adding all that stuff. And, you know, that happens. Uh, not my first rodeo. So I was kind of prepared for it. But, you know, if you're new to the hobby and you're going through a diatom bloom and you're going through a bacterial bloom, the best thing you can do is just not worry about it too much these things happen um, you know the diatoms are mostly just silicates and you know as you can see here got a nice little brown patch behind that rock and now this is actually a lot better than it was and I really didn't do anything special um, just kept up with regular water changes and that's it now either of these things it's not uh, you know too dire uh, you can get a cleanup crew you know that'll definitely help with the diatoms I, I do have a very small cleanup crew in the tank right now just a couple serrates to stir up the sand but i didn't want to add a, a bigger load to the tank so i just kept it really simple i thought i'd let them burn out themselves now one of the mistakes that i did make um was that i didn't seed the tank with copepods or any other sort of microfauna um knowing that I was starting out the tank completely dry. So, you know, my advice to you would be definitely seed your tank before you add fish, before you add coral. Honestly, before you even add your cleanup crew, you want your tank to be properly seeded with copepods um, because they will help control, you know, the diatom blooms that you see. They do eat diatoms, other detritus, and algae and stuff like that you really kind of want to attack it at the source and the microscopic level you know with copepods to have a healthy population is the right building block you're going to need you know for a healthy reef and a healthy system so don't do what i did don't get coral don't get fish don't get a cleanup crew get copepods first and then build from there so start from the most basic level and move up so with that being said, I'll probably be ordering some copepods myself. Um, thankfully, I don't have very many fish or predators for them. And I'll get to the fish here in a minute. But, you know, this will allow me to hopefully control some of the diatoms that are going on and other algae before it starts, before it becomes a problem. Because hopefully I'll be able to establish a healthy enough population to not only take care of that stuff but to also feed the fish now speaking of fish i did add a pair of clowns as my first fish and uh you know it's just a throwback to the original two uh onyx clowns that i had in my last system um you know i really like the onyx uh clowns and uh met a great local breeder here who actually took a youtube video and sent it to me and i was able to pick out uh two clowns from that and, uh, you know, this is the first day that they were in the tank. And one of the reasons I love these Onyx clowns is because, you know, you really get to see their colors really come in and develop over time. And, you know, if you notice the little guy there, he's pretty much all gray. And, you know, they've been in the, in the tank for about three to four weeks now. And, and you guys are going to get to see how much they've actually changed from day one to what they look like now. And, you know, if you, if you get them while they're young enough, you know, you'll get to see this progression. And uh, the exact line, I think it's a Sequest line, but I had bought mine from uh, Rod from Rod's Food. He was uh, doing these Onyx Clowns before he got into his food. And I was, uh, you know, stoked to find a guy who actually uh, got one of Rod's original fish that he was using to breed uh, his clowns before he got out of it and... You know, became the huge success that he is now with this food. Uh, but, you know, I love the look of these fish. It's my favorite look. And it really, like, this, I, I know looking at this, uh, the, the video here, that the colors, like, this just isn't doing it justice. 
the blacks on these fish are like almost like the a really really deep matte black finish and uh you know the orange is more of like a red orange and uh they're just beautiful fish and you know this was actually one of the reasons i started the tank back up again is because i wanted to own a pair of these again and um i'll put a link to the guy that i got them from i don't know if he ships uh, around the country but you know if he does his name is tom he's a great guy uh he'll give you a fair price on them and, and they're absolutely beautiful and extremely healthy fish so guys that's pretty much it you know i'm still uh tweaking the tank a little bit there's a, a lot of hardware stuff that you know i need to get through and and, and fix and fine tune uh same with the rock work as well uh you know there's been some challenges with the lights and you know getting a schedule and everything set and i'm, I'm still tweaking it and uh you know i'll review those things as they come along uh but for now you know i'm happy where the tank's at it's finally a, a reef tank you know i have coral in there i have fish in there now a lot of those coral need to be placed and uh you know just need to tighten everything else up but i think i'm off to a good start um tune in for the next update i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it ran a little bit long uh but again thanks again um and i'll catch you next time